One of the biggest pro problems you might have when you're working on an Illustrator document is um, making your colors match. Um, so right here I've got a map and let's say I want to take this map and match the colors of um, another image that I have. I've actually done some screenshots of some other maps I might want to match the colors to. Um, it's kind of difficult to choose your exact color within swatches. You can do that um, and that's certainly an option. There's also um, several other panels that you can use to do that but one of the best tools to use is the eyedropper tool. Eyedropper tool is about halfway down and you'll see that the shortcut is the I key. So if you hit I on your keyboard it'll jump straight to the eyedropper tool. First thing I'm going to do on this map that I've traced is select a few of the roads that I want to change the colors of. Now I'm going to hit I, jump to my eyedropper tool and select my picture. Now first thing it does is it erases everything. You see that I have my fill and my stroke they are now set to none. Um, that is because the picture that I have is a raster image. The lines I have are vector images created in Illustrator. So they don't really communicate that well at first. But actually, if you hold the shift key down, hold the shift key down and click with your mouse, you'll see that all the colors do actually change. I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see that. You see that the colors do change to match the raster image. So really quickly, really easily, you can match your colors very consistently very easily. Um, you might also want to match your logo and even the fill part of the logo to match another object. So I'll select this um, I selected this stroke up here and if I again if I click my image it's going to apply the fill which I have in my logo to that image. Um, so I don't really want that. I'm going to hit undo command Z undo. Now if I hold down shift you see that it applies only to the stroke which I have on top. If it's still applying to your fill, it might be because your fill is on top, and so it will add that as a fill if your fill is on top of the stroke in this panel right here. Actually, this is the tools panel right here. Um, so really quickly, really easily, you can match colors. Now, you can't have a, a, a gradient within a stroke, so it will only add one color. Um, the other neat thing you can try um, if you have another object and you want to match more than just the color, you can actually use the um, eyedropper tool for that as well. In fact, if you double click the eyedropper tool, you get the settings. And so all of, this, all of these settings, all of these um, appearance attributes will be copied to the new object. So if you only want color to um, be copied, you can just check color and delete everything else. Um, but you can set it however you wish. I'm going to select um, this ellipse once again with my selection tool, hit I for the eyedropper, and select my object. You see that it copied both the fill and the stroke right there, and um, the stroke weight actually. And um, if, I hold, if I undo that and just hold down the shift key, it will actually copy straight to the stroke. And again, if I copy, hold down shift, and just do the fill, it will just do the fill. Now the other neat thing about this tool, didn't think there was this much, but there are actually is other um, little tricks you can use with it. If you hit the command key or control key with on a PC, excuse me, that is the command key on a Mac or control key on a PC, you see that my mouse changes from the eyedropper tool to the last selection tool that I use. So it will change to the direct selection tool if you selected the direct selection tool last, it will change to the the um, excuse me, it will change to the um, regular selection tool if you chose it last, just by hitting Command on a Mac or Control on a PC. Um, the other other neat trick is if you hold down the Option key, and I have this circle selected, I hold down the Option key and click on a part of my logo it will actually change my the whatever I'm clicking on rather than me having to go and select that object so it's select it's changing my logo to whatever I have selected so I'm doing the opposite by holding the option key down option is opposite um, so for the cloud right here I hold down the option key click on it you see that it copies that stroke right there the other neat thing last neat thing this is it um, if you hold both the shift and the option key down at the same time and click on 
let's just click on this sun right here and let's click on it again click on it again if you notice in the appearance panel it's actually adding fills so by holding the shift and option key or alt key down you will add fills or add strokes um, add attributes or appearance qualities to your design so there's a bunch of tricks just with this one little tool, it doesn't seem like much, but it actually is a big help if you get the hang of using it.